Today's my 10th wedding anniversary. So this edition of the Four Ps, episode 50, is dedicated to my amazing, inspiring, loving, hardworking, understanding, brilliant fox of a wife. Love you, babe. I mentioned last time how I'm going to be incorporating guests and contributors and cameos into the Four Ps. Well, on anniversaries and her birthday, my wife generally expresses dismay with my very public, very heartfelt, often very long-winded expressions of my love on social media channels. So this time, I'm not going to do that. Instead, I've asked some very special people to help me out. I love my mommy because she keeps me healthy and safe. I love mommy because... She does nice things for me. I love mommy because she does my night night. I love mommy and she takes care of me. I like my mommy because she does uh, my homework with me. I love mommy because she let me get a dog. She gives me watermelon juice every day. I love my mommy because she's going to get me an Xbox on one of the holidays. Actually, no, she's not. As you've no doubt surmised, I'm an avid consumer of content, and I'm willing to pay for it within reason, but it's getting to a point where everyone is putting its content behind paywalls now, and I just can't afford to subscribe to all of it. It's just not practical anymore. And I think a purge is probably coming. Netflix and Hulu and Spotify, Amazon, the New York Times, the Washington Post, the Athletic, the Atlantic, my cable bill. I mean, my monthly credit card statement looks like what I wish my investment portfolio looked like. But now everyone's getting into the subscription game. Now New York Magazine and Slate. Uh, Quartz is now $14.99 a month. I mean... Forget practical, it's getting comical. We're now layers deep in terms of content and news providers that we might be interested in subscribing to. And I think we're on the verge of reaching a threshold of consumers' willingness to pay. I know I, I certainly am. Uh, I already cut the Atlantic. Uh, I reduced my cable service from premium tier to gold tier, which means bye-bye NFL Network and NBA TV. And as soon as Game of Thrones is done next spring, winter is coming for my HBO subscription. Well, they did it again. But instead of targeting Facebook and Twitter, the Russians focused on Instagram ahead of the previous midterm election cycle. To a tune of over 600,000 accounts, at least if reports are accurate. And this was the same group that Robert Mueller indicted earlier this year, the Internet Research Agency of Russia, the IRA, Right? Good thing the Trump administration really took that threat seriously. Facebook fortunately uncovered this thanks to some FBI support, but these groups are smart, they are well funded, and they're relentless. And they don't appear to be letting up. Even more of a reason why you and I need to be active and prepared and accurate on our own social accounts when sharing news. So our in laws or cousins who are sharing the crap don't get away with it. A lot of you know me as a content or social digital guy, but over the past few years, I've also learned a really good deal about operational and organizational models, shaping and reshaping teams, paths to growth and strategic cost cutting. And with both startups and larger companies, the command structure, as well as the relationships between people and departments can be the difference between stagnation or loss or growth. And the best time to make a change or tweaks in an organizational structure is before the crisis hits, not after. A smart cost-cutting and effective organizational restructuring requires first identifying your company's strengths and differentiators, the processes or the tools or like the knowledge that makes your company better than its competitors. Invest there, not everywhere. But remember, to grow, it isn't always necessary to outshine the competition in every aspect of your company. 
And trying to do so will often force companies to underinvest in the activities that actually make them great. So that's where we start. Winter's finally here, guys. Stay warm, stay dry, stay safe, stay out of trouble.